Now, big news this week for all of those uh, of you out there who are seeking to get back to nature. A garden centre chain has begun selling hens for those of us who like uh, the eggs as fresh as possible. The company says the move has been driven by the growing numbers of people looking to live the good life, just like the 1970s sitcom legends Tom and Barbara Good. So, ladies, do you aspire to the good life? Mm. Well, I was actually woken up at 5 a.m. this morning by a cock. <laughs> Tell you how annoyed I'm exhausted. Not the first time, is it? No, do you know what? I live in the countryside, see, I'm a country bumpkin, and they're ever so noisy. And the thing is, all my mates are like the good life because um, lots of my friends, Jane and Steve, have bought. <laughs> Let's move on. They bought. <laughs> They've mm -hmm. bought lots of chickens, so I actually never have to buy an egg now. I love it. I, I'm, do you know, Linda, I'm so happy in my wellies, yeah, excuse I can't me. even tire. Excuse me, get what? real. Well, these people, oh, I do love it. I pop out to the hens, and when they peck you, and you have to walk through all that mess and I muck. I love it. I, do you know, my, do, I would love, Jakey and I, we'd love Do you animals. keep your own cock? I don't. <laughs> I don't, actually. However, what I think I would like to do is... Go out with a farmer. If there's any farmers, single farmers out there, I'd like to live. <laughs> I'd like to live on a farm. Oh. I would like to live on a farm. It's one of the audience. In the morning. It's your lucky and day. You've I scored. love pigs. I love animals, and I'm quite good with some udders. Marvelous. <laughs> I love it. She's just in a really serious pitch there. Yeah. I love animals. I love this. Just because somebody gives you eggs from over yes, the road exactly. does not make you a farmer. It, it, it does. It, it, I was brought up on a farm, and it's very hard work. Is so it? it? Yes, and it doesn't quite go with this business, really. Well, you know, I suppose you could try. I'm all for... Actually, what I think would be perfect is every child from age about five to ten should go and live on a farm or visit a farm Lovely. on a regular basis because, actually, the whole of life is there. Mm. The, the reality, the... They won't be vegetarians because they'll see, you know, they'll bring something up, it'll grow up into a little it's lamb, and, and then great. they'll eat it. Great help to the farming industry it as well, which makes is, children responsible as it well does. when they care for animals. And also, it's the best way of teaching them about the birds and the bees. Yeah. You know what? I've, um, I've started my own vegetable patch, and I've only got a small kind of city garden. You know, I don't have tons of space to play with, but. Ben and I have created our own herb garden. We're growing tomatoes. We've got apples Aww. coming through. And you, li you don't live in the countryside, so that's good that you're well, trying. Well, it's a window box. It's a window box. But, and you know, nice. last night I sat down. <laughs> it's not a window box. It's slightly bigger than that. But um, last year, I, you know, one of the first things he ate when he started um, eating solids was a homemade apple puree picked from my own tree. I was quite excited by that. A homemade wow. apple puree well, picked you know, from a tree. <laughs> well, you know what, Ben? I didn't go to the supermarket and crack it out of a jar, yes, is what I mean. Those carton trees, you yeah. see those are like. Ho, 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 you look so funny. No, I absolutely, I completely agree with you. And Do you? I, now I live in the country. I, I live in the town near the country. I know exactly where you live. Let me tell you where, Lynn, uh, Don't where she tell lives. tell them where I live. She lives there. Six around. restaurants, two pubs, all within walking distance, Very and the true. only bit of greenery near you is an old people's bowling thingy. True. But there's a field over the back. Back, that they've told me is very nice. It is, it's lovely. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, th no, seriously, my, my big thing when I moved to the country was I was going to grow my own veg and I was going to have chickens, but they, uh, they scare me. Fine, OK, cluck, cluck, moving swiftly on. OK. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for that, Bellas. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got, ready for this, girls, an excellent competition prize for you this week. Oh. Yes, no yolk. Oh. 